Hey y'all, how you doing? <laughs> um, I wanted to share something and I hope that this lands somewhere softly and in a space that creates inspiration. So I hope that you're doing really well wherever you are in this now and um, just know that whatever it is that you're doing, I'm really grateful that you're here doing this earth game with me. Um, Cause this would really suck if I were alone. <laughs> Like, oh God, I'm the only one on earth. And then I think it would be really fun. And then it would really be sad again. Anyway, so something that's been coming up recently um, that I wanna, wanna reflect upon. So uh, after my last video, uh, a couple people reached out and they were, um, they were triggered. You know, they had um, felt as if I were attacking them saying that they were this, that, and the other, and they put their names on it, and they had taken it personally, and then they reflected back to me, hey, um, you know, I'm, I'm triggered, basically. Um, and so I just wanna acknowledge that whatever it is that I share, it, it may trigger you, it, it may. Um, it's not my intention. I also feel very strongly about all the things that I feel strongly about, and all the things that I feel strongly about have um, been something that have always been with me or they're brand new <laughs> and and that's why I, I share because like I'm not the same person I was five days ago five years ago 50 million years ago like I'm, I'm, I'm not none of us are so if whatever I say uh, lands in a space where you realize that you're taking it personally I just would like to reflect like I love you that's not my intention. This is Jane living Jane's life, speaking from her perspective. So there's that. <clears throat> so if this triggers you, that, okay, <laughs> breathe through it. I love you, it's not my intention. Um, you're still loved, you're still love, uh, it just is. So anyway, I just wanna share something about this total BS system that we live in. And it's this belief system, system. You know, there are many schools of thought around law of attraction, manifestation, quantum entanglement, quantum physics, karma, um, reincarnation, uh, what goes around comes around. Uh, you gotta see it to believe it, you gotta believe it to see it. Like there are all these different um, perspectives around something that I just wanna t talk about this, this, this portion of it because it's really potent if, um, if we can use it with intention. So the system of belief, so we all have one. Like I have a belief system and, and it's, it's pretty here. And when I hear new bits of information or perspectives, then, then it will either narrow my belief system and hone it and make it very like laser focused, um, or it will expand it and I can be open to more, right? So, my belief systems are the way I live. Your belief systems are the way you live. It's almost like our code of, of, of life. It's our code of ethics. It's our, the way we see the world, the way we see our previously lived experiences, the way we are experiencing our now. Our belief systems are shaping how you're watching this right now. You know, if you have an underlying or, or in the front mind belief system that I'm this really awesome, cool, super fly home girl. Then everything that you're hearing, you're like, she's cool. Now, if you feel, if you have a belief system that I'm off my rocker and unkind, then everything that I'm saying is gonna be framed with that lens. The potent part that I wanna share about today that has continually been coming in for the past few days, and I haven't been able to record until now, is um, the way we speak about our belief systems. So I believe that whatever it is I believe, and that I talk about, that I project out through my thoughts, words, actions, whatever I project out, I get to then live, live into that zone. So if I am continually talking about and believing that this world, this earth is beautiful and 
always healing and always clearing itself and always coming back into balance. And it's so loving and abundant and so kind. This world is such a magical place. If I truly think that, believe that, speak that, then my days will be most reflective of that belief system. Now the inverse of that is if I believe that the world has always been shit, it is shit, and it's gonna keep being shit. Like even if you clean it up, it's still gonna be shit. If that's my belief system, that is the reality that I will walk into. Which is where I want to put this reminder out there that whatever your belief system is, is fine. It's your belief system. It is. You can believe that nothing is getting better, that no one is going to change, that the systems will always keep people down, and that ignorance will always be here, and that oppression will always be, and, and litter bugs will always be, and there will always be greed, and there will always be child molesters, and there will always be people that do harm. There will always be. If that is your belief, you're going to be saying stuff that will reflect that. And then the life that you live will be that. You'll see it more on the news, right? You may come in contact with more of these beings. You may become one of these beings who are, who is intentionally or inadvertently oppressing or abusing or doing harm, right? Now, again, you do you, boo. <laughs> Seriously, you do you. I, it's totally good. The reminder is that one, whatever it is that you believe and that you speak and think and talk about, speak and talk is the same thing, be about, <laughs> you're going to have that in your reality. You know, like you just are. That being said, side note, I'm not a fan of just completely ignoring and bypassing the, the real shit that, that is. You can know that from my last video. I'm, I don't ignore the shit. I feel the shit. I play in the shit. I move through the shit. I trance in the shit. It's a part of life. However, it doesn't matter how bad my day is, I choose to not think, feel, speak about how, oh, today was so bad. Well, it's because it's always been bad. And that means tomorrow's going to suck. I used to be that way. So, like, I, I get that mentality. Like, I understand it so wholeheartedly and whatever belief system that we continually perpetuate will be the reality that we continue to manifest this time in this now cosmically speaking on the earth plane and beyond it's a huge time for manifestation <laughs> like this whole weekend that I got to live in was beautiful and I got to talk to so many people okay like how do you see the world like how do you see it you know how does it feel to you let's let's pretend let's play let's get animated in our heart mind because we're sending out those energy shots those energy images that can be made manifest and those are the, that's the images. Those are the realities that I want to live in. I want to play in those realities. I want to live where a city like New York, you know, Chicago, LA, where, where the air is clean enough to breathe, where there's still enough plant life and nature around. People remember that they're stewards of the land and that they're there, that they're there to live in a close knit community. You know, that, that they, that they can live in harmony um, not overusing resources, rather being able to regenerate resources, reuse and repurpose resources, you know, and, and the city life can actually be this beautiful, um, loving Mecca of human, like that, that, like that can be a reality, you know? And so it's like the more I sit and I think about these without any limitations, you know, then I can start moving toward the direction where that Mecca is going to be more of a reality. Anything that's not in alignment with that vision will begin to fall away because I'm paying it no mind. I'm not giving it any, any energy. Um, I'm not focusing on it. It doesn't mean that as I am co-creating this Mecca city, for example, that um, I'm not going to come up to face 
those who say um, overuse, misuse, abuse natural resources, right? But what it does is it keeps my mind so clear and focused on this vision that I know is real, this like utopian Mecca city space, space, <laughs> space, um, that I can, when, when I come upon someone that's say misusing the resources or whatever, they're, they're gonna be more inspired to change or they just are gonna be the ones that do that but more people are gonna not be doing that. So eventually they're gonna change or they're just gonna be the only ones that misuse a resource, who cares? You know, because like it's a dualistic world. Like there's gonna be people that still abuse. And if more and more people are loving and talking about abuse in um, a way from healing, you know, like I've been healed from abuse or I'm healing or I'm in recovery or whatever, people, you know, moving through that, through conversations, then like, there aren't as many people that perpetuate that that we don't want. So, my encouragement is to be very mindful about what it is we all are speaking about. We can talk all day about the patriarchal system that we are currently in. We could, we could talk about it all day. And we could say it's always been this way, it's the way it is today and the way it's gonna be. There's no space then, there's no creativity then, there's no space for inspiration, for ideas to culminate, to come to fruition. There's like no, no space for that. So then I'm perpetuating the patriarchal system because I'm not allowing the, the, the matriarchal system to even like come into my awareness, let alone to anchor down and become a manifested reality that I get to live in, right? So please use this time for the potency that it is. If there are things that you don't like, um, not, not saying don't talk about it, like that's not, that's not it. The point is be aware of how you speak about it. Can you speak about it like the isness of it without projecting it into a future timeline? Because if you've ever lived in in a part of your life that you didn't like, <laughs> you know, maybe maybe you were stifled or abused or held back or made fun of or rejected or abandoned or you name it. You know, if you if you if you don't like those things and you talk about it like it's always going to be that then you're going to get more of it. it just is and on this note again i will still say you do you like if you want a belief system that is in a really heavy kind of field then then that's you're welcome to um and I think that that's the important part is that we also honor everyone's belief systems. You know, so like when I talk to people and they they say things like, you know, this these things have been bad and they're still bad. And they've improved, but they're still bad. And they're always gonna be this way because there's always gonna be someone, something that fucks it up, that does wrong, that hurts someone. And and I just remind them that like, yeah, maybe, maybe not. But you literally just projected that out there so now it's more likely. And if that's what you wanna believe, you believe it. So I think honoring everyone's BS, everyone's just honoring everyone's belief system while I am real conscious about what belief system I'm putting into the future because the future is nothing but a whole bunch of nows that accumulate to where we can look back at it from, from a, another now perspective, looking at it like the past, it's all a bunch of nows. So if you fill up all of your nows with complaining about things you don't like, blaming others for their belief systems, blaming others for how wrong they are, blaming others for sharing their belief system, being mad at them, getting triggered because someone shares their belief system, blaming them because you you were triggered for their belief system being shared. We're in a very interesting timeline. 
So being in your belief system, just be aware of it. Just be aware of your belief system. Be aware of how you project it out, you know, in your thoughts. Are they subconscious thoughts that um, create space for you to just do things kind of like um, running on just like some program? Like, this is just what I do. Um, you know, are your belief systems supporting you? Do your support systems support life on earth? Do your support, does your, do your belief systems make you feel good and hopeful and joyous and love? Like, or do your belief systems piss you off? Um, do your belief systems make you feel heavy and hopeless? Do your belief systems make you create space for you to feel connected to others? Um, you know, just be aware of your belief systems because our belief systems are malleable. We can change them. That's the freedom of being a human, is that we can change our fucking minds. So whatever belief system you're rolling in, just be aware that it's yours. And whatever it is you choose to hold on to, to let go, to perpetuate, to share, to grow from, to create from, that's yours. My, my, my encouragement is to go into the heart and ask it, does this feel good? You know, does this feel like, you know, it's in service to the liberation and joy for all beings on this planet? Like, is it? And if it's not, well, what, what about it can I keep? And what about it could I shift? You know, not saying that I have to delete all of my belief systems. Rather, what in my belief systems were are mine? Which ones were given to me? And which ones do I want to continue to share in the world? Because whatever our belief systems are, we're going to manifest it. You know, I get, I personally get like mired and weighted down with like the consciousness of this and the density of that and this, all that. Like I do because I'm me. And then I remember like this is all part of the collective conscious that like we're in. Like everything that's happening is a part of a belief system of the collective. And then I'm like, whoa, we are like some very interesting conditioned mind people. Anyway, so my encouragement is to check in on your beliefs. See if they're in service. See if they are yours. See if they feel good. And see if you want to change them. Keep them. What else? And can you offer everyone else around you grace for their belief systems, whether you feel like they're outdated, antiquated, old school, and patriarchal? If you feel that they are new wave, totally out there, left field, super galactic, I don't even get it, you're talking light language. Or is it somewhere in between that, that like, who knows, who cares? Like, just can you be aware of your belief system in contrast to others' belief systems? And can we move together in harmony with a myriad of belief systems without projecting onto others, oh, your belief systems hurt my feelings, or my belief systems make me want to control what you do to your body, what you put in your body. You know, be aware, put the awareness in there of do my belief systems encroach upon someone else's life? Do my belief systems say that only these kind of people deserve X, Y, and Z and these people don't? You know, like check in, be, be for real with yourself. Be for real, <laughs> you know, please. Because we're walking into a time where we're manifesting a brand new earth and we, we have all these potential timelines of, of manifested realities that we could easily create. And there are so many and they're so varied and the ones that involve control, manipulation, aggression, and force is not the one that I want to play in. So if the collective is there, then I'm like, oh, fuck, it's more of this game that I don't want to play. I mean, I, I will, but I, I don't want to. You know, I don't want to. <laughs> so um, if, if your belief systems are fear-based, if they're based in judgment of yourself or others, um, lack, if they're like scarcity-minded, 
or if it's a belief around stagnation, right? Nothing's gonna change. Nothing is ever gonna change. Everything is just ising all over the place. You know, just be aware of it and would you be interested in having a belief system that was more loving and compassionate and accepting and creative? Like, would you rather? Because your beliefs are yours and they're, like I said, they're malleable. And whatever your beliefs are is the reality that you will live in. <sighs> Promise. No matter who and where you are, it's the mind that dictates how I'm getting through this life. I mean, I'm getting through the life anyway. My mind is either going to tell me it's good or bad, that it's right or wrong, that it's pleasurable or uncomfortable. You know, the mind is what labels it and gives it words so that we can further create belief systems. We've just been indoctrinated to believe whatever belief system that the propaganda machines tell us. You know, you can call it pharmacy, you can call it religion, you can call it government, you can call it the education system, like whatever. Those are the belief systems that collectively we have been indoctrinated with. Don't question it, just believe it. My invitation to all that watch this is to create your own damn belief system. That's it, create your own belief system. Like if someone said, erased your mind of belief systems and you got to create your own, like what would it look like? What would it sound like? What if no one was gonna judge you for your belief system, you know? That's having a belief system that still has fear in it, right? Well, what if I share my belief systems and someone tells me that they're triggered and they don't want to be my friend anymore? Well, I guess I just won't share my belief system because it could be upsetting to someone that's taking something personally. I guess I'll just I'll just be quiet. Fuck that noise, y'all. Mm. Over that. I look to the day where humans have their own sovereign belief systems allow for others to have their own sovereign belief systems, see where our congruent belief systems can unify us and unite us and hold us together in a harmonious, beautiful, loving, and compassionate way. I look to that day. I look to that day when others have their belief system and although I may not like it, I may not agree with it, I can find in my heart a space of acceptance for I know that that belief system is also going to be their journey. That if they have a belief system that it is okay to do harm, that they have had harm done to them and they will continue to have harm in their life. I don't want that. And I also trust that this is what their higher soul, their, their spirit is, is guiding them to learn and grow through. So then when I'm in my belief system and I see myself hurting someone else, I don't stand and rejoice and say, ha ha. However, I feel it. And I remember that my belief systems and where they come from and that all things in love, all things, all things when reflected can be space for healing. So then me and my belief systems and you and yours can be space for someone else's healing, especially if they recognize that they are upset or triggered or unaccepting of the way you and your belief system are. So that's what I want to share. It's about the bullshit, the belief systems, this whole system questioning your own belief system, accepting it, changing it, um, creating around it, creating something new because of it. And, and changing this belief system in any given moment can literally completely change the culture and landscape of this entire earth plane. Like that, Ugh. for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. I want that one to land. I want that message to like anchor in. So anyway, and remember that all that you say and all that you think and all that you do, whether you're taking something personally as a gift or you're taking something personally as an attack, whatever you're taking it as, it's what's going to be in front of you for you to walk through. I try to think that everything is a gift, whether I like it or not. I just gotta figure out what the hell to do with it sometimes. You know? Anyway, that's what I was wanting to share.
I hope that it lands with, with ease and grace. Hopefully it's not triggering someone. If it is, you're welcome. Hopefully you can find the gifts out of it. I love you. Um, but I do. I love you. I love you. I love you all. And I appreciate your presence and your patience and your grace in this world. However, whenever it is expressed. <sighs> and keep taking care of yourselves and each other. Keep manifesting from your heart. Please keep speaking your highest truth and play. Play in this world that's yet to be created. Mm. Okay, I love you so much. I love you, love you, love you. Peace. Bye, y'all.